you believe it's already the end of 2020? It's been such a wonderful year out here in the garden. We've grown so much produce and some beautiful flowers and we've had a lot of fun out here in 2020. I thought as we finish up the year, it'd be really fun to look back at some of the highlights from the year. Let's go take a look. Remember way back in spring when the wisteria started to bloom? and we harvested the produce that we planted in the winter before. Even at the beginning of the year, there was already much to celebrate. We had our beautiful carrots and our onions that took many months to grow. In the spring, we planted our tomatoes. They were so small to begin with. We notice the small fruit starting to bear on our fruit trees. And before we knew it, it was summer and all of our trees were dripping with ripe, delicious fruit. Oh, this was so tasty. And by June, our summer abundance was here. This year, we were able to donate over 5,500 pounds of food. And man, was it tasty! We found so many fun tomatoes and had so many delicious varieties. Can you believe these grew from that tiny plant? And this year we grew melons, like cantaloupe and very heavy watermelons. Our kale trees grew so tall. And we can't forget all the beautiful flowers that we had blooming this summer, like these snapdragons and our beautiful zinnias. And sunflowers, of course. These sunflowers were like a special ray of sunshine in the garden every day this summer. And we met so many pollinator friends, like this bee, and this beautiful butterfly. And right around the corner was fall. We grew these giant pumpkins and they weighed almost 30 pounds. But my favorite were the mini pumpkins that we shared with Irby Ranch residents and other organizations in the area. Abby's favorite were these winter squash. This fall was a time for us to complete some really exciting projects, like two brand new trellises, our DG accessible pathway, and our sensory garden got a makeover. We're so grateful to the volunteers who helped make these projects possible. And now it's winter time. Our citrus is ripening. We're planting new plants for 2021 and our cabbage and broccoli rows are almost fully grown. We've reached the end of the year. Nearly every day this year, our good friend Shadow made us smile. Whether she was helping out with a little pepper harvest or just taking a little nap in Abby's arms, Shadow is always making us smile and we love seeing her every day in the garden. One of the most wonderful moments this year was this fall when we were able to bring some participants back out to the garden safely. This garden is really a space for sharing, connecting, and participating with the garden. So it was so wonderful to be able to have some folks back out this year. And now the days grow colder, the field is quiet, and the cover crop is sown. And it's time for us to take a break too. And in 2021, we'll be back to do it all over again, and we can't wait to see you. Now, Abby would like to say a few words before we go. Hey everyone, it's been such a great year here in the garden. So many things have grown, it's been wonderful to see. And I can't wait to see what next year will look like here in the garden and what will grow. So I hope you'll follow along and we'll see you in the new year.